There we go, we're live! Ta-da! Hey, Domino, good afternoon. It's always Domino, Domino's always first to these things. There we go, now my chat's open as well. Cool, so we've just gone live, we're gonna hang around for a few minutes. Um, wait for everybody, to, everybody who's gonna join us for start time, we'll wait for them and then we will get going. Who have we got? Uh, MP, Greg, welcome to the chat. I do have a laptop next to me so I can see what's going on in chat as well. But yeah. This is kind of exciting. I always like being able to stream like new games over on Access. So I'm hoping lots of people tune in for us. Oh, that's all right, Leggett. We had loads of problems on uh, Twitch last night with Final Fantasy XII. Not, uh, the Twitch just not connecting, so we're all good for today. Oh, we got Matt, Spoonie Bard, all the regulars. This is very nice. This makes me feel very happy. Uh, right, as people are coming in, we may as well just get going. I recognise your uh, avatar, Matt. That's very naughty with Savy, you'll get in trouble. Don't get in trouble. It's a good game, it's worth seeing. Um, if anybody, if you know anyone who is into, uh, especially tabletop RNGs, um, or if you know anyone that is into the, the de just like the deck building, anything with dice, then you're really gonna wanna see this. Uh, Anto, hello, so we're gonna get started. It's picking up a bit now. Vile Blood Hunter, just woke up and already having a good day. This is great, it's exactly what I want. Uh, so we're going to be playing Children of the Zodiac. So this is a game from Cardboard Utopia. It's originally via Kickstarter and the Square Enix Collective, which is like an indie support branch of Square Enix. The game is coming out on July 18th, and we've been lucky enough to get it a little bit early to play here on the YouTube channel. Uh, I had a little go last night, uh, so hopefully I'm not going to be terrible, but... I say we just get going. Hey Colin, the, ch uh, the chocolate chocobo. Very relevant after yesterday's Tuesday feature. To some, a technological miracle, a source of limitless energy, a pathway to hidden knowledge to others, an infinitely corrupting influence, an alien parasite, a weapon. The Zodiacs were gifts of the heralds who came to Loomis over a thousand years ago from a dark and dying world. Daryl, good afternoon. Daniel, it's 4.33. Oh my god, you've just woken up. Well, you may as well join us. Yeah, the soundtrack is by, by a company called Vibe Avenue that have done like a number of indie games in the past. Jojo, you are more than welcome to pester us. So I'm going to be starting. I'm going to be starting with this live stream with uh, the tutorial of the game. We are starting from the beginning. We're allowed to, and I think it just sort of makes sense. You can see how the game works from India. That's amazing. Scarlet come back like a hair. Thank you very much. I grew it myself. Cryptic Panther from Canada. I always wanted to go to Canada. A spoony Bard is here as well. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, we've got a hundred watches. Yay! Me and says, hey mom, hey, do your homework. So it is, it's completely turn-based, it's a single player turn-based game, 
Uh, anyone who's played something like Square Enix, uh, Square Enix, FF Tactics might be getting some major vibes from this. It's very FF Tactics. Nero G, you are awesome. Keep it up. I'll do my best. Aussie Tacos, no purpose comment, just saying hi from Australia. That's amazing. Welcome to the chat. Uh, DMU girl is here. Poor Al. Uh, hello, Holly and chat. Welcome. Welcome. So, it is a card-based um, game. So, what you want to do is you want to you want to get as close as possible, and then we are going to pick uh, an attack. Crashing down. So we can see here that depending on how the dice roll, this will do between 4 and 16 uh, damage to the enemy, but the enemy will counter-attack because it's an up-close physical attack, and that'll do between, well, it'll do 2 HP damage to me, but I'm not too worried. So, it is uh, completely based around luck as well. So, you do manually, so you sort of gather them with X. If you can see this, I have the crystal to shut. It's really hard at this angle. There we go. So, um, the dice have symbols on them and it all sort of means they're different. So for us, each shard increases the strength of the attack or healing by one HP and each heart heals the hero by five HP. Now, if we don't get the, the, the dice, we can reroll. So for the sake of it, because we don't need healing, I'm gonna reroll this one, so. Now, with rerolling, I also have to be careful because what I don't want to do is knock over any of the other dice that have what I have on them. Cool, so I'm now gonna do a total of 16 damage. Will I stream like this more often? I would very, very much like to. I really, really would. I stream, I stream about four or five nights a week anyway for myself. Uh, so I'd like to do more for access, yes please. Rival gaming, 7 a.m. and still have yet to sleep. That's impressive. Uh, looks like FF Tactics with PS1. Yes, the development team actually said they were really heavily influenced by FF Tactics. This is yeah, minus blowing up the board. Yeah. So this is a tutorial, okay? So it's going to be a little bit slower for here, but I think since it's a new game for a lot of you, I think it's really important that we show you exactly how the game works. Now we can't reach this guy with that attack, so I'm going to go to here and I'm going to guard. Scarlet Combat, I don't have a price I'm afraid, but Squanix Collective are hanging around in the chat, so if we ask them very nicely they may be able to answer it for you. How many hours did you put into Persona 5? I'm on the final dungeon and we are at, I think, coming up to 90 hours. So this is obviously the guard thing. You can skip these if you want to start pushing forward a bit. You can just press a button and skip this kind of animation and go straight to the damage dealing. Now this guy has really heavy armor, hence why my counter attack didn't do anything. But backstabs are like a major deal in this game. So I'm gonna backstab the hell out of him, which means he can't counter attack. Also when I finish my turn, I have to pick which way I'm facing at the end of my turn. So I'm trying to like keep my back to things so that people can't sort of get behind me. Now, for the backstab to work effectively, I need these blue dice with the stars in them to come up. And I didn't get it at all. So I am going to re-roll both of the blue dice. I'm going to hope for better RNGs. We're going to pray. Yeah! Okay, which means I get armor piercing. 
PS Plus game hype. I don't know if it'll be on PS Plus. I don't know that. Uh, this is for uh, console only PlayStation 4, so not Vita, I'm afraid, on this one. So, um, we're gonna face this way. Hugo, nice to see you in chat. Finn, good afternoon. I didn't say hello to Steven. Callan, being taken care of. Dean is here. Ant is here. Can you use the accelerometer in the control to shape the dice? Uh, I don't know, should we try? We'll try. Next one, we'll, we'll give it a go. Now, I'm at a risk of backstab here, which obviously I don't want. So, I can see how far I can move, so I'm kind of putting myself up for backstab. Let's see, we're gonna go here. No, not quite, but never mind. Pipster, good afternoon, welcome to the stream. Let's see what we've got. Okay, basically we've, we've hit it. I, there's a gamble, I could re-roll these. I'm gonna re-roll this one, and I'm gonna re-roll this one, just to see if I can get threes. Even a healing wouldn't be bad. Yes, there are attacks that attack multiple enemies, and we will see some um, as this goes on. I will promise to show you some. Oh, I got some healing. Uh, yeah, we haven't got a choice. I know the game is definitely coming into English and into French, but Scronix Collective, if they're still around, might be able to tell you if it reached its Kickstarter goal for other languages, which would be pretty awesome. Now, I'm going to try and face this way, which I'm hoping will stop a backstab. Now, because this guy's got super metal plating, I can't counterattack. Well, I can, I just don't want to do any damage. But I have avoided a backstab, which I think is more important. Our protagonist's choice of lipstick. This is no judgment policy here on lipsticks. What type of genre do you think this game is? This is, uh, this is what you call a tactical RPG, but specifically I keep saying deck and dice. Um, cause I think a lot of people, especially people who play board games will It'll click in their head what this is. Buffalo staple chipsticks. It's so nice to see so many of you here from from my streams. This makes me feel really welcome. Um, oh, gamer guys here as well. What should I get from the fantastic big in Japan sale if you haven't played Final Fantasy X? There you go, there will be Spanish uh, interface and subtitles coming, which is great news. Happy birthday, Buffalo. I remember you saying in the stream last night that today is your birthday. So happy birthday, Buffalo. Why doesn't Nate live stream? We all have different lifestyles and we all do different things. Um, I quite enjoy it. Oh, yes, that's quite a good roll. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Good RNG. There is a completely single player game, so no multiplayer. All right, now I'm gonna turn this way to stop a backstab. That's fine, because his move is done, so I'm gonna come up here and we're gonna attack. Let's see what we've got. Blitz, I'm gonna need to go a bit further forward. Okay. So you can see with this attack, they could be stood in any one of those yellow squares, could be stood in enemy and I could go after that one. Yeah, Jenny, it's complete. Like, there's even dice rolling. It's that much. You can, especially the enemies, you can skip there. 
You can skip theirs if you want it. We're going to re-roll these because I didn't get what I want. One, okay. One will do. It doesn't kill him, which is a bit annoying. Oh, well. Ah, Daniel, thank you. We don't stream too regularly here on Access. We'd like to. But um, you're always welcome to stop by. Okay, I'm going to counterattack the hell out of this guy. It's already confirmed it, so that's good. Rhymeland's Hammer of Thought. I have not heard of that. I'm really sorry. I can see what you I can see the Witcher vibes in the music for sure. I think Witcher just has that real big like orchestrated feel to it. Sophie Jones, good afternoon, welcome to the chat. Jojo the Chocobo, welcome as well. Uh, I didn't say hello to Finn, but I did ask you a question. My Twitch name is Phoenix B. Um, I don't know if anyone's allowed to post links in chat. We do have moderators in. Um, yeah, you're always welcome to We're currently playing Final Fantasy XII. Just to keep the Square Enix vibes going. Right, let's finish this guy off. I love the noise of the dice. Is that, is that just me? What is that? Minus nine. And some healing. Lovely. Rectal, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. FF Gamer as well. Good afternoon. Okay, we're going to stay facing that way your turn is over are we going in for a backstab let's do it bravely default meets fire emblem that's good i mean those are good games as well no i do spell phoenix incorrectly oh none of those landed oh press the wrong button never mind but it was enough. The tutorial level is being kind. Pickle Jelly, welcome. What game is this? This is a deck and dice RPG from a, a company called Cardboard Utopia. The game's called Children of the Zodiacs. It's an indie game that was born through Kickstarter and the Square Enix Collective, which is like the indie branch of Square Enix. It's coming out on July 18th and they are letting me play it a bit early here on Access. Uh, John, welcome. I have you played Persona 5. I am on the final dungeon. I live streamed it all the way up until the final dungeon. Uh, and then we're not allowed to live stream any further than that. So uh, sadly, I haven't found time to finish it. Technology TV, Gamewick, both of you, good afternoon. Mr. AP, is this on PS4? Yes, and I'm playing it on PS4 right now. Dewey and Smeggy, good afternoon. Is this released on the platforms for console? Just PS4. Otherwise, yes. Uh, Sid, Joey, Panda, Francois. Uh, yes, Jenny, it is worldwide on the 18th. That is their release date. Edward as well. Doctor. Oh, Lord, we're all coming in. It's <laughs> giving him Polaris. Dale. Oh, I can't, I can't. We've tried. I've never clicked on a video notification in my life. Well, welcome, Mr. Idiotic. Good afternoon. Wrestling video games. I'm a big fan. You're a big fan of the art style. I'm a big fan of wrestling. We're going to get on really well. James McCall. Carl as well. Oh, Lord. Bubs. Raymond. Nico. Is this exclusive? No. No, no, no. Uh, console right now is just PlayStation 4. How much there isn't a price just yet. Edgar, good morning, Cyberpixel, Alistair, Corey. So this, we've now done the tutorial. Now a lot of people have just joined, so I'll fill you in. We are playing Children of the Zodiacs. It's a deck and dice tactical RPG, so think Final Fantasy Tactics. 
It's coming out on July 18th. It's from a company called Cardboard Utopia, who are also being helped by Square Enix Collective, which is like the indie branch of Square Enix. Um, as soon as they told me tactical JRPG, like JRPG style, I was in. So we've just done the tutorial, and now we're gonna kind of get on with it. So what you can do from here, so we can go into party management. We haven't really unlocked much yet, but we've only got two characters. Uh, and you can also go back, and you can go back to these moments of quiet where you can get a bit more story on the characters. How many hours to get this game? I don't know. I, I genuinely, I've played the tutorial uh, yesterday and I haven't got any further. So we're kind of doing this together. I actually don't know about other consoles, but PlayStation 4 for now. Is this an RPG? Yes. Bunch of people just drunk because the notification went out. Well, there we go. That's why. My name is Holly, it's H-O-L-L-I-E. Is PlayStation Access doing anything on Final Fantasy XII? No, we've done a number of videos. Uh, if you go and search Final Fantasy XII on the YouTube channel, we've, we've done a number, so uh, I think we, we're not. Also, Rob's just got back from holiday, and I would hate to try and go through a Final Fantasy game with Nathan and Dave, who have never played a Final Fantasy game before. Oh, Scottish one. That makes me really happy that you watched it. So thank you. Where do I live stream? I live stream on Twitch. I have a personal. But today we're access. Ah, oh, hello from Japan. Wow, this is coming out on July 18th. So very soon, very soon. Yeah, I'd like to do more of this. Showcasing more different games as well, which is really important to me. Yes, Rob is back from holiday. See you, FF Gamer. Four oh nine club, welcome. Blind, good afternoon, welcome. Yep, yeah, you're gonna be busy. My bedroom is extremely tidy, I thank you very much. This delightful pile of Final Fantasy plushes are perfectly placed, as is that one on onesie. From Nepal, that's amazing. So this isn't a Square Enix game. This is from a game from Cardboard Utopia, Finn. Uh, Square Enix Collective helps support indie teams and help publish them, and that's what they do. Hi from India, hey Sid. Yeah, me and Rob do love Farm Fantasy, a lot. Florence, Italy, amazing. <laughs> Your question is slightly more, uh, Jojo. Uh, I go into my Phoenix B, but I spell Phoenix incorrectly because I'm dyslexic. <laughs> and I've had it for so many years. Oh no, Aaron. Okay, so this is my first proper battle. Let's see what we've got. What can we do from here? We don't really need to heal, so we are going to have to get a little bit closer. So we'll go in for this guy. Uh, the Koopa, I have four, three up there. Which ones do you mean? There are quite a few Aussies here now. 
what kind of games do I like playing? I like playing RPGs. <laughs> Okay, so I got a free action on that one, so I'm gonna have a go at seeing if I can finish this guy off, which is good. Yeah, tactical, properly deck and dice, Final Fantasy tactic style. So, just to go through it again, that blue dice corresponds to the blue dice you can see on the card in the top left-hand corner, look at my hand, in the top left-hand corner. If I roll that blue dice and it does not match that symbol, I will not get the ability of that card which is why then you might need to re-roll. Um, but because I got the lightning, I would get an extra an extra kind of attack, which I've just used, so I can't have another. You don't shake the controller, but you do have to use the analog stick. I'll show you on the next round. actually going to draw cards. Knives out. So I've got some range attacks. Now, I don't want to get backstabbed, so I'm now going to, my final move will be to finish facing this way so he can't get around me, which is really important. However, I have to be a little bit careful because a lot of his iron sight attacks do quite weird, as you can see, AoE range. And I don't want to hit my other player. Right, so. And that is how you roll. Cool, so I've got the, the basically I've got everything from the attack. And I've got some attack up as well. From the right one. That's cool. Fatago, yay, welcome back. Uh, always worth mentioning, we do moderate this channel. There are moderators in here, so... Um, general rules of being nice to each other and to me do apply. Right, this guy's at a horrible risk of backstab. I'm just gonna kinda have to hope that this guy just, yeah, he is going for that. There is, the AI is pretty good, even if that isn't bad luck. If I had turned him to face the other way, he still would have gone around my back. So, and I, I have noticed that when playing. Oh, thank you, Carl, that's very kind. Were you born in Wales? I am. I lived in Wales until I was 18, and then I left university, and now I live in London. So, Welsh girl, born and bred. Right, can we back, can we get around here? Ah, we can get around him for a backstab. Perfect. And then if I can get the free action, I might even be able to heal. This is the crystal jewel shop. It is the good old uh, see-through 90s style that I love so much. Cool, this will do some healing as well, which is great. Not that I need it too much. So the basic storyline is the Zodiacs are mythical weapons. It's really depending on how you use them. They can be used for good and they can be used for evil, unsurprisingly. Um, we are a bunch of, we are the underdogs. We are the poor people that have been pushed down by the nobles in society. Um, we're basically stealing things, and that's all I can say. <laughs> Sid Joey, there you go, you can have one more. MLG Hammond, uh, I'm nice, I'm sure you are. Uh, Benji Hall, I like the Tuesday checklist, thank you, that's really nice to know. Do both, unknown error, do both. Okay, right, your turn to move. really can't do much more than that. So I'm going to draw some cards and I'm going to end up facing... I'll leave it that way for now. Let's see how close that enemy can get. So you can only have a maximum of seven cards so you can't keep drawing. If you draw more, it'll also, the game will automatically start discarding them. So you do have to be quite careful. So for Nami now, I am going to draw some more cards. Now, we're quite early into the game, so there's not much in the way of deck building for me right now, but you can craft dice, um, and you can also, like, basically make your perfect deck as well. 
we're gonna head to here. And we're going to guard, and we're gonna face that way. So if that enemy comes at me, I'm guarded and I can't be backstabbed, which I think is really important. Yeah, which they're gonna do. Have I managed to play any of the 15 DLC? I've played it all so far. I'm a very, very big Final Fantasy 15 fan. The least stake this game is July 18th. So very soon. No pricing on it yet, I am afraid. Skronix Collective were in here earlier on and didn't inform us. Minus 11. I'm going to re-roll... I'm going to re-roll both, actually, and just see if I can get anything a bit better. So we get one re-roll at the moment. Uh, I didn't really change anything. <laughs> one re-roll at the moment uh, for up to two dice. <laughs> Now I'm going to face that way. And we're going to see if we can get an iron sight from here. We can. Which means they're both protected, which is what I want. From backstab. Do you like cycling or biking? I do, but I live in London. Right, so with this, because then using uh, Pester's dice. So I'm getting one plus card, so I get to draw a card. Uh, the blue means I get a plus two on attack. It's not ideal because it's not what the card is uh, giving me. Let's see. Yeah, you can get bad dice as well. We don't want that. So you know what? I'm going to re-roll. You know I'm not. I'm actually not going to re-roll. Castle Mark is horrible, quite frankly. Yeah, if anyone is asking, the release date is July 18th. It's very, 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 very soon. Cool, he wasn't able to backstab me. Square and his collective are not a mod. They are guests. They're in the stream. Hopefully trying to help anyone who's got any questions, which I think is really, really nice of them. healing I'm going to re-roll that and I'm going to re-roll that uh, it is not it is not uh, it is not down uh, I got the same thing right fine whatever at least that's healing them both And I got another card back. Sweet. Ah, you can also face that way. Yeah, actually, Sol, um, if you look at kind of the developer's profile, they said they were they really heavily influenced by uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, which I think is awesome. Is this a PS4 exclusive? It's a console exclusive to PS4 right now, as far as I know. Minus four. Okay, not too bad, because Pesta should be able to hit that person from here. Kind of. So the dice are all kind of relevant. 
Ah, yes, that is a flat out kill. Amazing. Yes, this is a single player game. Did you like World of Final Fantasy? I did like World of Final Fantasy. I am quite glad it had a fast forward button because I'm, I'm obviously more of an experienced Final Fantasy player. So um, I appreciated uh, the sort of being able to maybe fast forward just a little bit. This is not Persona, this is at Children of the Zodiacs. Like they don't even acknowledge it, like they don't even have to. And what that do? Minus seven. Uh, I'll re roll this one. Yes, this is a uh, turn-based deck builder, and as we get through it, and we will show it on the live stream, uh, we will get to a point where we can start deck building. Thank you, this is my office. This is where uh, I do a lot of live streaming, and this is where I work for Access as well. Only messing lol. Good. No misbehaving today. Cool. Okay, so at least he can't. So you can watch the guards do their role if you want. You can also just skip it if you've got that. Now if I'm lucky. Ha ha ha. But I really have to draw some... Oh no, I can't. Oh, okay, not that lucky. Let's go to here. I really need to draw some cards after this one for her because we've only got heals left. What do the dice do? So, let me show you. So we roll the dice and these then increase or decrease what we can do. So we're doing a thing called Knives Out, which does an attack of up to 18, I suppose. And plus it has some additional, uh, some additionals as well. So if we get a star on one of these dice, we get to hold on target for one turn. And also it has some extra abilities with the blue. We need to get all those things to match. And that's where it becomes luck. So for example, let's let's re-roll. Let's re-roll this one and this one. So at the moment we're doing 15 damage to the officer. We change, this might change. We're still doing 15 because we now each shard is one more damage point. So we've now that one changed to two. But we're also doing some defense for us as well. For if we were to have a attack, which we're not. Bully Wolf, we do a bit of both. Um, it's actually because I work separately, so I work I work in a different office. This office. That is why. Right. I need to be a little bit careful with you because I really don't. Um, we're gonna guard. Are we? No. You're going to attack from a distance. I'm gonna re-roll that one. Oh, and I knocked that over. Damn. Okay, never mind. It's not too bad. I just want to finish that. Back to the wall. Good morning, Ryan. So there are, obviously, there's buffs, and there are also curses as well. Oh, okay. One to five. It's not too bad. No, there isn't a penalty, um, but you can only re-roll two dice at the moment. Only re-roll two dice, and you can only re-roll them once. However, like you've just seen, you have to be careful, because what you can do by re-rolling is actually knock over the dice. Um, and that's what we really don't want to do. We don't want to be knocking dice over. Ah, oh, more 
heals. I didn't want any more healing. But we are going to try and lure these guys out somewhat. So you're going to go to here. And you are going to heal yourself. So we don't have much in the way of health. Come on for good rolls. That's not bad. I'm gonna re-roll this one. And an extra card. Okay, that could be worse. That's fine. Hindsight's not bad actually, just not a bad card. You face that way just so you're safe. Keep drawing cards, that's fine. Keep drawing cards as well. At least I'm luring them out somewhat. Annoying me though, you I still really need you to have more cards. With that, no, we're going back. I don't want to do that. You're going to draw cards. I need more cards, quite frankly. And you can stay facing that way. Okay, I have a few more attacks, not a lot. Ugh. Uh, you can come down here. God, I don't need more cards for you. There we go. Uh, yeah, I stream. I stream from here on Access. I've done it a few times. This is my office. Oh, she managed to get it though, asshole. It could be. It could be that if I wanted to try and knock a dice on something else, I could do that. But then it's hard to kind of aim. Are the deck customizable? Yes, they are. And you can actually build a deck that suits your playstyle. On top of that, you can also craft dice as well and actually have the dice that you want. And we'll show some of that in a bit. We unlock it after this level. If there is permadeath. If one of these two characters dies, the other characters can do it on their own. If both die, then it's game over. Finish him off, how annoying. I'm going to re roll that one and re roll that one. Yes! Okay, that means I'm doing more damage basically, which is what I want. I want to just do as much damage. This guy is the toughest one of the lot, so I want to do as much damage to him as possible. And you should hopefully be able to finish him off. It's time to duel. It's not Yu-Gi-Oh. The characters are unique. They're part of the story of this game. Uh, what is Pesta doing? Minus four. That's enough. You know what? That's enough. This is... Uh, I am playing what will be the full game, which releases next week on the 18th. It'd be better if a game was a... I don't know what difference it would make if this game was made by a Japanese or a Western development team. That's the only difference that makes it a JRPG is that you've added Japanese to the beginning. So, I don't know. I don't see what difference that makes to me. It's clearly been influenced by wonderful JRPGs such as Final Fantasy Tactics. This is digital. As far as I know. 
I do have to start watching their health. He's guarded. I should just probably just concentrate on finishing her off. But that health is low. Where can you get new cards? We unlock them as the characters appear to level up. So we'll again, we'll see some of that as we go as well. There are trophies, and we may even unlock some as we're playing as well, so we'll see what we get. Because we could potentially, if we get the right dice roll, we could finish this guy off. one and that one I need these sh I need the shard ones to come up ideally one of the two shard ones if I get really good RNG no I get the same ones damn that ah, was a gamble that didn't pay off I don't play games on higher difficulties quite frankly I play things on the lower difficulties and play them for the story so it depends on what you like to do, but I'm not a I'm not a hard mode kind of person. I very much like to just play things uh, in my own time. Yeah. God, I need to watch his health. This could kill him. Minus. Oh. He's, okay, he's doing minus four. Ah. Oh. Well, at least we finished him off. Oh, Ro, thank you very much. That's very kind. Okay, we could potentially just one-shot this person if we just get the right dice rolls. And it's a one-shot. Boom. What am I thinking of it so far? I really like it. I'm actually liking, it's not, hmm. I'm not a massive fan of difficulty normally, but I like the strategy in this. So I don't feel like under pressure, I can plan things and where people move. Uh, though I have been told it does get quite difficult later on. So maybe, maybe I'm just not smart enough. You can't change weapon. That is, that is your character's kind of weapon because that's what they use. But obviously as they level up, their uh, powers level up as well. We don't have pricing yet, uh, Dreaded Gaming, I'm afraid. <sighs> so when you level up, your stats level up with you. So I'll show you the stats when we get to the next map screen. I'll show you the stats and that gives you an idea of where the character's powers are. Uh, I actually don't know. I, I'm literally, this is all new to me now. I only got the game yesterday, so. So far, Ryan, I've discovered four characters, so. Jonas, I completely agree. What platinum toys do you have? I don't have any. I don't platinum games. I don't have time. I tend to do a playthrough, uh, kind of how I like to do my playthroughs, and then I kind of, if I love it, I might play it again. If I don't, it's um, it's on to the next. Uh, even with like something like Mass Effect, I've played the Mass Effect series 
an alarming amount of times. Even something like Dragon Age Inquisition, but I don't, I don't sort of go to the trophy list and be like, oh, I need this one, I need this one, because I just don't. I don't play it like that. Can you change characters? No, characters will follow you with the story, but you'll get different characters. We're about to get Bryce now. <laughs> it would fascinate with you, but that's very nice. Ah, uh, Dan is here. Night, night, poison ivy. Okay, so you can now equip the dice you win at the end of each battle onto your heroes. Head over to party management and select dice to start equipping. So, I'll show you that. Now. So, you can see here that there's still two blanked out. One of them is crafting dice, so we can actually make our own. And one is actually the deck building. So, here you can see their stats. So, Nami's got a great attack, um, but really, really, really low magical defense. While Bryce has an incredible magic attack. And then Pest is a bit of an all-rounder. And let's very briefly... Ah, oh, Sammy, welcome to the chat. And what are we doing? We are doing... Cool. Right, so... You sort of pick what you want to bring in battle. So based on what you think you want to be able to do in battle, this is the kind of dice we're to bring. For example, if I'm creating someone to be a healer, I might want them to have a lot of healing dice so that I'm more like to up the healing magic that I do. If I wanted to use Nami maybe as just a complete tank, uh, I maybe would pull back on have those and have more of the attack shards. I don't have a lot of dice at the moment. Okay, let's get on to the story mission. Um, music is by a company called uh, Vibe Avenue. I've done quite a fair bit of indie stuff. Do like I do like a video game vinyl, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I have many. Uh, I don't think I probably play the Horizon DLC while in cosplay. It is quite that Aloy costume is quite warm. I don't know. I've I've not played much of the game. I played the tutorial. Uh, so far, it looks like to be three we've got, but we'll have to find out. Uh, this game is actually available next week. We're playing it a bit early. So here you go, here are the types of cards. So we've got curses, support, and healing, which we, we haven't seen yet, or magic. But so far we've just been sort of using range, melee, and well, we have seen healing. But yeah, so these are the types of cards. So you can get the card strength, and then this is where you can see on the right hand side you have the card's level. So the bonus dice, if you can get those, add to what you can get, basically. Does that make sense?
Okay, so I can't kill either of those in one hit, so I'm just gonna go for the one that is in front of me. Ah, thank you. Yeah, it was, it was kind of awesome being able to dress as Aloy. So I'm getting an extra action, which is great. I'm also, because I've got rolled the blue, I'm getting a plus five health, which I don't really need, which is a bit annoying, but you know what? I might re-roll that. I'd rather do more damage, and I don't need the health. And that lightning bolt means I get an extra action. So that means I get to attack again if I want, which means I could potentially polish this person off. Cool. This now means I'm doing I'm getting extra defense. So the counter attack that was going to do minus two HP is now not doing any damage whatsoever. So that's a really good roll for me. Okay, again, I really don't need health. Now, the extra actions don't stack, so that one doesn't matter too much. Okay. Not really getting anything extra out of that. Those tanks do not heal themselves, Jonas, but we appreciate everything you do, so thank you. Yeah, Fuzzy, it's got a really nice concept. We have, like, there have obviously been games similar to this in the past, but I wouldn't say, I'd say we haven't seen one in a while, personally. Yes, two attack cards is exactly what I need. And let's finish facing that way. That is a good start. You're gonna come up here. She. Okay, she's there. So I'm gonna keep the Iron Psych. It's actually quite a good card, especially if I can get armor piercing. No, it is a single player game. That'll draw a card. You know what? That's. Yeah, that'll do. It's not, it's not a wicked amount of damage, but it'll do. He's just not as strong. You're gonna face that way just so that um, you don't get backstabbed. Now, she's super strong with magic damage. So as you can see, this is doing 16, 21 HP. That is insane. So we're doing a lot of damage. So you can see we've got the blue shard with the two. That means we're doing two extra damage. These ones both give one extra damage each. I'm really happy with that roll. That will annihilate, annihilate this person. Uh, we would like to do more uh, live stuff, that is for sure. And more stuff like this as well. Stuff that's a bit different. Um, these are always fun. No price at the moment, Mark. We will know soon, though. Now, annoyingly, this is hitting both Pesta and Nami, but the counterattack's pretty good on this one. So press triangle while on a card to view its detailed information. So for here now, we can see that if this uh, one star card effective will be true, at least one star is rolled, so we need to roll stars. You can see how the target area is, and you can see the range as well. So you can see I've got a, this is a, a range attack. I would like to have more um, up close for her, but I just haven't drawn the right cards. So much luck is involved in this game, it's unreal. That's still pretty strong, it'll kill him, so we'll go with that. Yeah, there haven't been a lot of games like it, Josh. Um, Final Fantasy Tactics, to me, 
is probably one of the most famous. Yeah, they've done a really nice job with the um, with the art style. How far into the game is this? This is only the third mission. We started from the beginning on the live stream. The Frosted One Gaming, that's very, very, uh, it's very kind. DN, are the cutscenes are all text? So far we've seen text. Okay, I'm going to start with, I think... Okay, you, you've not... Oh, you've had your go then. Fine. I don't know how far forward you can go, but I'm very conscious that you don't have a lot of defense. So we don't want to get her into a lot of trouble. That's not bad. Yeah, I'll take that. Plus the extra card is always good. I don't really want to curse, never mind. Uh, it's certainly, it's certainly got trophies so I don't see why it wouldn't have a platinum but I'm not able to show the trophy list because of the type of console we're playing on I'm afraid. Uh, you're actually gonna go here and I'm actually gonna have you heal before you do anything else. Yeah. It's a deck and dice RPG. It's a deck builder. It's a, it's um, luck based. It's obviously how you, how the dice rolls, um, and it's an RPG. Minus seven. I mean, it's not great. I don't want to. I just don't want it to hang around there. Um, you're defending. That's. Not too bad. You're defending, that's fine. I'm gonna pull her back from there because I think she'll probably take one more hit and I gotta get her out of there. Minus nine, yeah. Minus 12, so that'll kill him, that's fine. We could get lucky with Iron Sight and this could take her out, which would be good. I mean, it's really not a bad roll. But I am going to re-roll this one and this one. If these both comes come up as shards, or one of these comes up as a shard, it's going to be a one hit. Which I can really do with. Yes! There we go. If you miss Final Fantasy Tactics, then this is your jam for sure. Now for you, I need you to pull back because your health is so low and you can draw cards. Zero to three, that's not too bad. Nam, you should be fine. Yeah, nothing, that's good. Minus 
one. Not worried. And so this guy's in a good position now for us to attack. I need to back that. Lovely. Oh, roll over. I'm just going to re-roll that one because if that extra card turns out to be healing magic, I'll be quite happy with that. Huh? Yeah, it is. That's good. You can stay facing that way. Now, I have to be careful because Nami at this point is about to run out of cards. I've only got healing left. Minus 14. I'm gonna re. Yeah, because it's an extra action, which doesn't matter because I don't have. I would rather get that and kill that officer. Lovely. And this game is digital only right now. Greetings from France. Welcome. Right, you can face that way to avoid a backstab. And let's see if we can. Oh god, your health is just. You know what, I'm just gonna leave you here. I don't need you and I just don't want you to die. Uh, on PlayStation Access, we don't have a streaming schedule. It's as and when. Uh, for me, personally, I update it every week. So you can always see. maximum I can pretty much get for him. Yeah, you stay facing that way. I really need Nami needs to draw cards. I just I need an attack card. So much healing magic. Minus two, I'm not too bad with that. That'll be fine. Nami should finish this one off. Yes. There we go. Ah, ah Wake Up Surprise Dreams. Yeah, nice. It, like I said, we started promoting it yesterday, so we didn't have a whole lot of time to let everybody know, so. You're kind of here on time fast. Uh, Killington, is this like uh, Clip Saga? I don't know what that is, but I will say it's Final Fantasy Tactics if that helps at all. It is releasing next week on the 18th. We're playing a little bit early. Jesse, hello, to, hello all the way to Australia. Uh, yeah, so anyone who has joined, this is a tactical de deck and dice RPG uh, indie title that is being supported by the Square Enix Collective, which is Square Enix's indie branch. Right, so as you can see now, now we have the deck builder options. So what we have is up top, so these are all the different attacks that Nami can learn. 
And then this is our actual deck that we're running. So I can put more of these in. I'm actually going to take out some of these and put more of these in. Because that's what I'd prefer. Keep changes to that. And you have everything that you can have, so that is fine. All right, we'll do uh, we'll do the one more. So the cards are specific to your character because that's what your character does. So for example, Bryce is using the Zodiac gloves, so she has lots of heavy magic. Nami is like a rogue, a thief, so it's lots of you know quick moves and backstabs and stuff like that. So the cards are to your person. Which Final Fantasy game is my favorite? Eight. Final Fantasy Eight. Easily. Deck building side, if it's not your thing, it does give you an automatic option where you can just select it and it will just put a deck together for you. So don't panic if that bit all seems uh, a bit too much. You can just sort of do a randomized deck. Not randomized, an optimized deck, but in game. There is luck in this game because how the dice rolls and what cards you pull obviously are based on luck. Uh, Nico, I actually don't know, I'm afraid. I'm playing it from the beginning myself. So we're only on uh, mission four. With the first one being the tutorial. Reach the exit. Okay, so this time we have to actually push forward. That counter-attack is strong. See if we can get some uh, shields. That should help the, uh, with the backstab. Minus seven, okay. Good, we'll take that, minus 18. Uh, if I can get that far, Faz, I don't necessarily know if I'll be getting that far. Right, you stay facing that way. Let's bring you down here. I am sight. I didn't say it's your real only damage dealer. If we can get... It's not bad. Okay. I'm gonna leave you there to avoid back attack. But we have to keep pushing forward. Ah. Smoke bomb. Oh, we have to discard a card. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I 
I do, I do have a lot of moons. That's all Far Fantasy plushes back there. met a new party member so I'm afraid I don't know Jesse how many there are specifically and that lets me pull a card that's not bad yes it's an attack card that is good and we leveled up great um so we've just unlocked a new card for her as well which is leech Yeah, if a party member is killed, that's it. They actually just, they're out for the rest of the match. I'm gonna reroll that, because that's a bit useless. So you kind of, you do, you do wanna make sure they don't lose any, lose anybody. 12's not bad, so you should be able to finish that one off in the next round. Uh, you stay facing that way, that is fine. No, you, you come up there. You're going to draw cards because you just don't have enough of anything. Cool. Perfect. I didn't want any more curse cards. So I just didn't use them enough. Oh, that's a lot. Eleven. Oh, God. quite high. Oh. This isn't good. Well, at least I'm taking that one out. Gordon, good afternoon. Yeah, it's majorly FF tactics. This is, I'm having to concentrate. I love, I love a good ragdoll physic. Never let me down. Hopefully we'll get a good... Yeah, you know, that's good and an extra card. He has not a lot of cards, so I need to be a little bit careful to face that way. That's pretty good. That'll take the heat off the counter attack and I get a free action, which I quite like.
Yeah, it's a lot like XCOM. I'm gonna re-roll that just to see what else I can get. Ideally a shield, never mind. Okay. I was hoping to finish this one off, but... Let's do it. Ah, oh, and some healing, yes! Good. That wasn't too bad. She does only have one card left, so I'm gonna have to hold her back. Do you like Assassin's Creed games? I do! And Julie have been playing them for a number of years, I suppose. Yeah, quite quite enjoying Assassin's Creed. Oh, you powerful. going to re-roll that one because we don't have a star ability on this card so star is kind of pointless but I can do an extra damage instead that's fine oof So bad, nobody else is getting. This is annoying because she's now out of cards, which means I'll have to draw cards on my next. Yeah. High ground, not so much, but backstab is really important. Do you want to backstab them? You do not want to get backstabbed. And that's really important. Not so much that I can do for her. I'm gonna get her to go here. I'm gonna get her to guard. And I'm gonna face that way. Just gonna try and protect her, I think. She's just so weak to physical damage. Oh man, this has got so X commy, it's unreal. Okay, I am sending you here. You are gonna draw cards. <laughs> Face that way. I'm also sending you here. You're gonna draw cards. Oh, two heals? Are you for real? That is rubbish RNG, quite frankly.
I think I might be screwed. Another iron sight isn't bad. But we I am gonna face that way as I finish this. Scum save. No. I'm just gonna reroll the one. Yeah, the RNG is not being kind. God. Too bad. Minus nine is okay, but they heal. That's annoying. Minus seven. Okay. The question is, do I need to defeat them or can I just make a break for it? Now, if I can just make a break for it, I can probably get most of them across the line. level win or lose we will finish for live stream for a second. Let's The extra action is actually really good there. That's really useful. We leveled up. That's kind of cool. I'm just going to put her here and just see if. Uh, so yeah, that was story mission four. 
Skirmishes unlocked. Skirmishes are now available on the world map. These battles take place outside the story and are ideal to gather new dice and experience. There you go. Fight as many of these encounters as you like by selecting their icon on the world map. Well, there you go. For anyone who's asking about grinding, that is literally the answer. More difficult elite skirmishes will, appear, will sometimes appear on the world map. Engage at them at your own risk. These battles will truly test your team and tactical skills. There you go. That, that answers that, basically. Um... There you go. I'm leaving it there. That is today's live stream. For anyone who's new, this has been Children of the Zodiac. It's out on July 18th. Uh, it's an indie game from Cardboard Utopia, which is being supported by Square Enix Collective. It was Square Enix Collective that have helped us do the live stream today. It's tactical, deck and dice, you know, deck building, dice crafting, RPG. Lots of praying to our Jesus to get good rolls. Uh, but that is it. Uh, if anyone would like to join me, I'm on my own, doing my own stuff and streaming Final Fantasy 12 later on tonight. But in the meantime, thank you very much. I know everybody on PlayStation Access really, really appreciates you tuning in. This is going to become a video. Uh, it'll pretty much finish, start processing as soon as the live stream is over. So if you've missed the beginning or if you want to share it with anyone, you can do so probably within the hour. The video will be live for you to watch. Uh, thank you very, very much, everybody, for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, if you want to see more of these types of live streams, do let us know. It's always great to have your feedback. So thank you very, very much, everybody, and hopefully see you for the next live stream, whatever that is.